Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a basic GFX. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open Roblox or a Roblox browser and press create. Once you're on the create page, press create a new game and select base plate. Create the game. Now press edit and make sure that you have Roblox Studio installed. Press open Roblox. Once you're in Roblox Studio, go to the Toolbox and make sure that you're on the Plugins section. Type in Load Character. Scroll down and you should see the second option. This option is free to install, but I already have it installed. All you have to do is click this button and go through the process. Once you have the load character plugin installed, go to plugins, then press your plugin and type in your username. Make sure that you have spawn at origin on and press spawn R6. Right click on your character and press export selection. You can export this to anywhere, but I'm just gonna export this to my GFX folder. And I'm gonna name it me. Once you've exported your character, you can close Roblox Studio. And I'm just gonna discard the changes. Now I'm going to go to Blender 2.79. Once I'm in Blender, you should see this screen. I can click anywhere to get out of it. And I'm going to delete this cube by pressing delete on my keyboard. Before anything, make sure that you're on Cycles Render. Now go to File, then Import, then Wavefront OBJ. You can go to wherever you downloaded your file. Um, mine went to my desktop. And make sure that your character file has OBJ in it. Import your character. Now go to this white ball and press Material. Press Shift F and use WASD to guide your screen. You can also press Shift and then W, A, S, or D to go faster. Once you're on Blender, you can basically do anything with your character, but for now, I'm just gonna give my character a waving position. So I'm going to right click on the arm. And now I'm going to go to this tool over here. I'm going to select the arc tool. And now I'm going to bend the arm so that it looks like my character is waving. If you want to have a little bit more advanced editing, there's a really simple way to do this. Go to edit mode, then go to wireframe and right click. Now press control and select a part of the arm. And now you can bend it any way you want to. Bending the arm a bit more took me a couple of tries, but I could always undo what I did by pressing Ctrl Z, which is a really great universal shortcut. I use it in literally everything. But um, yeah, this clip is where I try again. Once you're happy with how the arm is, 
curved, you can get out of the wireframe and edit mode and start working on the next limb. The process for curving the next limb is the exact same as the other arm. Um, I used the same tools, nothing really changed, only this time I was curving part of the arm to um, sort of sit on my hip. But other than that, it's really simple, there's not much to explain. Now that I'm happy with the second arm, I'm gonna get out of the edit and wireframe mode, and now I'm gonna tilt the head. So to tilt the head, you're gonna wanna select all of the head accessories, and to do that, all you have to do is right click on the head, and then right click on the hair, right click on the headband, right click on the butterflies, etc, etc. And then it's the same process as the limbs, only you don't have to do the wireframe and edit mode. You can simply just tilt the head. Once you're happy with the head, this part is optional. You can work on the legs. Um, I actually don't suggest moving the legs because if you're going to position the camera like I did um, in the video, then your legs probably won't show, if that makes any sense. You'll see, you'll understand later in the video. But this process isn't really necessary since the legs won't show up in the final picture, but this is how I edited the legs. Finally, once you're done moving all of the body parts, you just want to copy what I did, um, change your settings to this, so change the resolution to 100, and then make sure that your exposure is at 10 for a nice good quality picture, and also make sure to select the transparent button if you want a transparent background, and then press the den denoising button if you want your picture to be less staticky and have a better quality. Now press view, then camera, and position your camera to fit your character in a way that you like. So what this does is um, it holds what your rendered image will have. For example, if you position your camera a certain way, that's what your rendered image will look like. Once you're happy with your camera, go back to the camera section and now scroll up to the top and press render. That's it, you're basically done. All you have to do now is wait for your image to render and it's gonna look so good. There's literally no way that it cannot if you followed all of the steps. But that's gonna be it for my video. Um, have a good day and bye. Once your image is fully rendered, go to image, then save as image, and you can save it to anywhere you would like. I saved it to my GFX folder, and that's it. Now you have your rendered GFX image on your computer, and you can use this for whatever you would like.